try to prove another interesting property uh, of the shortest paths basically it is called upper bound property so basically we are given a graph <clears throat> which is a set of vertices and edges and a waiting weight function for that graph which maps all the edges to some real number and let s comma s belongs to v is our source vertex from which we have to calculate the shortest path to each vertex so initially the distance to each of the vertex is initialized with infinity okay so none of the vertices is knowing how i am connected to s so each vertex says okay my distance to s is infinity i don't know any path to s and s itself it has dis distance to itself as zero so this is the initialization step okay then v dot d is greater than or equal to delta s comma v so what here v dot d represents this will be a question in your mind so v dot d basically is the current weight of current distance of edge v as per v's information from s so basically v dot d represents how far v is from s as per v's information and it is always greater than or equal to delta s comma v what does delta s comma v represents it doesn't represent the current information it represents the actual thing what is the actual dis least distance from s to v okay so the current information v dot d of the shortest path is always greater than or equal to the final information which we we have to reach so basically v dot d is initially infinity we keep on decreasing it decreasing and decreasing and decreasing it and we try to reach the final information which is the actual information for all v belongs to v and this is maintained over any sequence of relaxation steps on these edges <clears throat> so the current information which v has about its own distance from s is never never like that that my distance is even smaller than what is the actual distance so it is it is never wrong basically the current information can be more than the original distance actual distance but it is never less than the actual distance so and this is maintained over all the relaxation steps so what are relaxation steps we will see after some time but and once v dot d achieves its final lower bound that is delta s comma v once it reaches the actual information it never changes so basically v dot d is greater than or equal to s dot v s comma v this is to be proved we try to prove it by induction over number of relaxation steps so so many times i have tell, told relaxation steps but till now i have not explained what is mean by relaxation so basically we try to relax an edge u comma v like this okay so this is an edge u comma v we try to relax this edge so we try this is v dot d and if we find that u dot d plus w u comma v is even smaller than the old v dot d then we update this old v dot d by this new v dot d this is our new v dot d because this is some old path the old information which v has about its own distance from s and now v knows that okay if i come via u from s via u then it it will be shorter for me okay 
so i will take this path instead of the old v.d so it will update its v.d that is its information about its own distance from s okay so this is called relaxation so basically we will try to prove that uh, v.d is greater than or equal to s delta s comma v by induction over the number of relaxation steps so <clears throat> initially this is a base case for every vertex except s so v except s so how we initialized it we initialized for v dot d as infinity for every vertex except s so v dot d is equal to infinity for every vertex so infinity is definitely greater than any thing which we will finally reach any actual distance between delta s comma v either they are disconnected that that means it is equal to infinity the distance we can't reach v or they are connected then it is greater than infinity is definitely greater than that whatever distance is the actual distance from s to v so basically now let's talk about s itself so it's we initialize how we initialize it s dot d is equal to zero okay so we will finally find delta s comma s as either zero if there is no negative cycle involving s or if there is a negative cycle involving s then we will find it to be minus infinity because let s be involved in a negative weight cycle this with the negative weight cycle is let's say minus one then we will minus one minus one from s to s again minus one minus one so we start from s we reach s in minus one again we start from s we reach minus one minus one we do it up till we want and we get weight minus infinity so the actual weight actual distance from s to s is either zero or minus infinity which are both uh, basically so basically s dot d is greater than or equal to both of them we can say this okay so we have proved that our base condition is true now we'll go to the induction step to complete our inductive proof so if we are relaxing our edge u comma v it means instead of this old v comma d which are choo we are choosing this path now for for reaching v starting from s so basically we are updating v dot d is equal to old u dot d u dot d remains same it is old u dot d plus u do, w u dot v it is anyway same it is the weight function so we can write it is greater than or equal to delta s comma u plus w u comma v this is same how i wrote this u comma d is old because we are changing v dot d so u dot d is once what it was one step earlier one step earlier and in induction what we do is we assume the condition to be true for one step earlier so u dot u dot d is automatically greater than or equal to s dot u we assume this well this is the induction thing now v dot d is greater than or equal to s dot delta s dot v so for one step previous we assume that it is true okay and write this line and delta s comma u plus w u comma v is definitely greater than or equal to delta s comma v by triangle inequality which we proved one lecture back you can see my previous video for that so finally what we achieved is v dot d is greater than or equal to delta s comma v so v dot d is always greater than or equal to delta s comma v so we start with infinity we try to relax some edges relax some edges relax some edges relax 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 and we try to reach 
डेल्टा एस कॉमा बी बट वी कॉन्ट डिक्रीज बियॉन्ड दैट सो इट इज गुड थिंग बिकॉज वंस वी रीच आर डेल्टा एस कॉमा बी वी कॉन्ट रिड्यूज इट फर्दर एंड हाउ यू कैन से वी विल रीच डेल्टा एस कॉमा वी बिकॉज the distance is always decreasing it can't increase because relaxation helps you find some even shorter path so we start from infinity we reach our shortest path at the end of the algorithm whatever algorithm we choose thank you friends hope it helps